Hey, Newfeld here. I'm up bright and early. I'm at Rick Hansen, and uh, we're getting ready this morning to head out to the farm in Hope and check out some aquaponics. So, right now, my understanding of aquaponics is fairly limited. Um, I don't really know anything about it other than it's some kind of self contained water plant system where there are fish involved and the fish feed the plants and the plants feed the fish and it's like a cycle. Uh, I don't know how it works or what the benefits are, uh, if there are any cons versus the pros, I'm not sure. So I'm looking forward to learning all about it today. I have some new vocabulary bio-integration and emerging technologies. Filtration is important. Venturi. Ammonia oxidizing bacteria. Bio-availability. Biological surface area. Okay, we also learned that bacteria are essential. So for me, the big aha moment, something that I learned today that I didn't know before, was that inside of this really tiny, I'm exaggerating here, but inside a relatively small fish tank, you can have up to like 700 fish if they're tilapia because they're communal and they're okay being in close quarters. Scott was telling us about how the tilapia are super resilient and they can handle um, sometimes up to three point dips and rises in pH and goldfish that I think we're using, if I'm not mistaken, are really similar. So they're good fish because we can make mistakes and it's not gonna kill them. Yeah, so tilapia and goldfish are great options for small, hobby-sized aquaponic systems. Before coming here, uh, my understanding was really limited and I think that uh, my understanding of aquaponics has grown significantly. I do still have some more questions though. I'm curious about how we're gonna manage the pests that we're gonna get in the building. I don't know what kinds it'll be because we're gonna be inside and pretty well contained already. So we're gonna have to research that and then how to prevent them. I'm curious about that.